Hi, it's Dr. Tara Scott with Revitalized Medical Group. So if you have MTHFR, can you affect it by your diet? Do you have to take folic acid or methylated folic acid? Well, first of all, I would not recommend taking folic acid. I would make sure you're, you're taking uh, methylated fol folic acid. It might say natrifolate, it might say quatrifolate, it might say 5-L-MTHF. So those are the forms that we usually give. And the dosage is also uh, variable. It depends on you. It depends on how much you need. So with me, I found out that I have three abnormal MTHFR genes out of four, three out of four. That's a pretty rare thing. And I always like to stand out, but I don't really want to be something that's a negative thing. So when we find out that 50% of the population is heterozygote for MTHFR, most of the time we recommend supplementing with methylated folic acid or, or natrifolate or quatrifolate. Now for me, I started taking loads and loads of uh, B vitamins. And I thought, well, B vitamins are wa uh, water soluble, so too much, then I'll just excrete it. Um, so after a while, I noticed a lot of difference. I mean, I noticed the difference in the energy I felt. I noticed the difference um, in um, how my body was processing estrogen and how I was making my neurotransmitters. But the thing that I didn't realize is diet absolutely affects it. So for example, you get fol folate from leafy greens. So during this time period where I was going into functional medicine and overhauling my diet and my sleep and my lifestyle, I also was starting to eat a lot more leafy greens. I put a handful of spinach and kale in my shake every day. And um, also in January, I decided to eat kind of a raw food diet and started eating raw food for lunch five days a week. So getting that much in my diet meant I didn't need to take many, as many supplements. And if you take too many B vitamins, you can have something called overmethylation, which happened to me. I was taking too many, I cleaned up my diet, I was also um, eating better and taking better care of myself and I didn't need to take as many B vitamins. So I got something called overmethylation. I started getting muscle aches, I was tired, I wasn't sleeping. So after doing some more studying on MTHFR, I cut back on the amount of dosage of Bs I'm taking and now kind of evaluate how I feel. If I'm tired, I, I take it. So you may need to intermittently take your B vitamins too. So again, it's important to work with a practitioner who understands methylation. Thank you.